Hello everyone, and welcome back, finally, to our random pets laboratory challenges here in The Sims 4 with a ton of custom content. And it has been far too long since we have put on our lab coats and stepped into the laboratory, my friends. But today it marks a very special day as Planet Zoo has actually released its South American DLC and introduced some amazing new animals to our adventures in Planet Zoo. So, of course, that ended up getting my curiosity senses tingling, and I had to know, what would happen if we took two stars of that brand new Planet Zoo adventure, the absolutely gorgeous jaguar covered with its fantastic rosettes, and we took my arch nemesis, none other than the llama, and ended up seeing what happens when you crossbreed a jaguar and a llama. I'm actually so excited about this. It has been way too long since we have stepped into the lab. Holy cow, there are so many great crossbreeds that we could do. Not to mention we had just started to touch on some of the amazing Pokemon crossbreeds and I wanna dive back in with both feet. So if you guys could, the biggest request I have for you today, other than ooing and aahing over the amazing genetic creations we are about to make from these two parents, is to leave me your guys' suggestions for what you think we should try out in our random genetics challenge. And I hope to make a whole bunch more of those because I think we could all use a little bit of laughter and a little bit of uh, curiosity sparking the days ahead. And nothing quite makes you feel like your curiosity is going, like trying to see what happens when you crossbreed animals whose genetics probably should stay separate anyway. But all right, so really quickly, in case you guys are not familiar with how we do this, you guys actually end up getting to become the crossbreed results of the animals that we have, and you get to be the parents of the animals as well. So thank you very much to Black Roses for a very sweet comment on one of our previous genetic adventures. And thank you very much to Esther. You too have ended up becoming the two parents that will be leading this genetic experiment. And in case you guys are wondering how in The Sims 4 we are able to have a jaguar and a llama, I would like to introduce you to one of my favorite creators who is absolutely fantastic with all of the exotic animals that she is able to make using the dog and cat bases in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, because it's only cats and dogs, guys. Don't, don't think that you missed out on some sort of special DLC. There is not really a llama, but with hope and a little bit of modding, there can be. But Pug Owned is actually the one who created this jaguar. Let me go ahead and show you guys her really quickly because she makes some of the most amazing detailed exotic animals out there. So Pug Owned right over here. If you guys ever want to check out her work, as you can see, she also happens to have lions, tigers. She's got some amazing cheetahs, really, really detailed snow leopards. She spends a lot of time going through and making sure that the markings are distinctive and unique for all of her wild animals, and she updates them pretty frequently. And for those of you who prefer more realistic looking cats and dogs, there's also a ton of more detailed dogs. I mean, look at these. They look like some sort of realism painter has gotten in here and gone through with a tiny little brush and made like the most realistic looking Australian Shepherd I've ever seen in the game. Look at them! Look at them! They're so beautiful! <laughs> oh, look at that Maine Coon! That is really beautiful! Oh, and that Scottish Fold! Oh, we'll have to do some kitten breeding in the near future. <clears throat> anyway, that is how you can find a jaguar. There's also tons of other amazing creators who have made great jaguars. Do take care to make sure that you're not mixing up your jaguars and your leopards. They're both spotty cats covered in rosettes, but they're not the same thing. And if you're wondering how we have the llama, that is once again thanks to the amazing Kalino, who has a ton of fantastic custom content that you can download from her site. Highly recommend it if you want everything from Pikachu to llamas to dragons to unicorns, horses, and more. If you see a super exotic animal in any of our genetic experiments, it is thanks to Kalino, who is completely amazing. So all of that said, guys, let's do this. 
the way by now most of you should know this works is that we go ahead, we introduce the two with a dramatic backstory, and then we ooh and ah as they end up having six babies. And so in this case, we're actually going to say that Esther the Llama is part of the expedition crew who is actually headed up to do our Golden Frog Temple expedition in our Planet Zoo Jungle Adventures episodes that we have just started. Ooh la la, crossover. And so with Esther, she has gotten separated from the pack, which is not good for us because she happens to have one of our comfy little sleeping bags and our very useful little trowel for gardening. And she begins to wander away from the path leading up to the Golden Frog Temple and instead gets lost in the thick jungle, which is exactly where she needs to be if she's going to, or he, excuse me, is going to end up becoming food for Black Roses, the jaguar, who's currently looking for her meal anywhere where it might be roaming along the forest. Jaguars are the third largest cat in the world. They are powerful, compact hunters who are able to climb and swim with a lot of strength behind those actions. You may recognize pictures of jaguars eating caiman, which are a type of crocodilian, right out of the Amazon rivers. So they're really good hunters, and it would be nothing, it would be trivial for Black Roses to be able to leap down from the trees that she is hiding in, pounce upon our unwary little llama here, and end up eating him. And in fact, that is what she tries to do. At first, she thinks, oh, this is an extremely easy meal. I mean, look, he's even all white, super easy to see in the underbrush of the jungle. But when she goes and jumps for our unwary llama, he startles, he scatters, he begins to run in circles, and the pots and pans tied to his back end up banging against the trees and scaring the life out of black roses. Unfortunately, it also scares poor Esther, and the two chase each other around for quite some time before there's a dramatic moment where they slip in the mud, they end up in a small waterfall, they go careening off the top of it like some sort of Disney movie, landing in a small flower-filled valley. And as time goes on, Esther, who continues to be chased by Black Rose every now and then when she ends up getting an appetite, continues to scare both of them and send them scattering about on a series of misadventures in the jungle with the crashing and crashing of all of the things still tied to his pack. And the two form an unlikely friendship that eventually, thanks to some sort of wonderful magic hidden away in the jungle depths, forms a unlikely romance. And now with that story behind the two of them, which I just literally made up as I was speaking, always a skill that I like to polish in these, Let's go ahead and see what their six cubs would look like. Their lagwire cubs? Their jalamas? What do you guys think? Lagwire or jalama? I have to know. <laughs> but all right, so I have the name list with some of your guys' names from our last random genetics challenge. Let's start crossbreeding these ones and see what we end up with. I'm kind of hoping for a jaguar patterned llama. So let's see if we end up inheriting the llama traits, which in this case would be just the feet, the foot, the little hooves. That's the only thing that we'd actually inherit from the llamas. Everything else is just decorative CC, uh, like the, the things that, like the harness and the backpack stuff. Uh, so yeah, I think, yeah, that would be the only thing that we have to roll to see if we end up with, you know what, I will take a hoofed jaguar too, just because that would be interesting. But all right, Black Roses, let's begin to have some babies. All right, child number one with our wonderful llama is going to be... <gasps> the demon eyes are already back. Ugh. Okay, fine. I, I still feel conflicted that I should remove those demon eyes from our experience. Look at the little ears. <laughs> but we have a jaguar patterned baby. Okay. And this is actually going to be Panda from Panda Plays. And Panda, I know you have actually been a member of our community for a heckin' long time, so it's good to see that you end up getting to uh, become a member of the family. And you are going, uh, I guess, okay, fine. You're gonna produce leopard wool, 
Because I guess llamas produce wool in a way, so it's okay if a llama leopard child produces wool. You're going to be smart and you're going to be independent. The firstborn of our lag wires. All right, let's go ahead and get the next one. I imagine that they're being raised in a beautiful butterfly-filled valley. Oh dear. <laughs> Where their parents are able to like probably, oh look, there's no tail on this one. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This one. Haley, you had the name suggestion for Scorpio for a little boy. I like that. Let's go ahead. We're going to have Scorpio. And he's also going to produce wool. So we have a bunch of wool producing jaguar cubs. I love it. You're going to be adventurous and vocal. And I love the idea that they're actually being raised among all of the treasures that you can find in the Sims 4 jungle adventures. So they like grow up as tiny little lagwire cubs playing with a whole bunch of the golden coins and the statues of the golden frogs and shards of pottery from a lost civilization. Can you imagine how cute that would be watching the little cubs like bat the golden coins around and chase butterflies oh that'd be adorable all right let's go ahead and get more babies and then let's see let me pull up a new name from our name list and we are actually going to have oh don't you look like a little llama to be and i wonder what it is about this color eye that we're getting with all of the babies but you guys i would like to introduce you all to dazzle so welcome dazzle to the family you are a troublemaker who is independent and friendly very happy to meet you gosh that's gonna be our first llama uh let's see and then let's add in another one Oh, they're so cute. I think I really love jaguar babies. We'll have to have more. Oh, you're going to be oh, a llama with a long tail. I will take a long-tailed llama, actually. That would be kind of fun. And this is actually going to be Moonshade. Moonshade, this is really a very appropriate name since you ended up being a white llama or perhaps a white jaguar. We'll have to see what kind of jaw you grew up with. If you get a big bulky jaw like mom, then you are a meat eater. If you get a little petite jaw like dad, then clearly you prefer to nibble on the grasses and potatoes. All right, Moonshade, you are vocal, a couch potato. Maybe you'll like to eat potatoes as a result and a troublemaker as well. All right, and then let's go ahead and have another baby. And this is actually going to be, dun 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 dun, <gasps> so pretty. I think we may have a jaguar or llama here. Just maybe, maybe, maybe. This is actually going to be Shrine. What a cool name. All right, and Shrine is hairy. I think these are all like long haired jaguar, lagwire cubs, stubborn and a glutton. So that's really cute. I wonder if you're a glutton as a jaguar, you're probably chasing all the frogs to eat them. And if you're a glutton as like a llama, you're probably like eating all of the plants you walk past. Once I rode a horse that did that. It was very interesting. She was a handful. <gasps> Look at those eyes. Oh, wow. Beautiful galaxy eyes. We'll see if we ever end up with something like that. But first, oh dear. First, we have Carol, or excuse me, Katie. Name any mixed breed Katie, please. Well, there we go. Here we have Katie. Will she grow up to be a jaguar or will she grow up to be a, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> she's extremely aggressive and produces wool and is very energetic. Something tells me she's going to want to grow up to be a jaguar, but it's all gonna depend on the jaw. She may grow up to be an extremely aggressive attack llama, which some people do have attack llamas to defend their sheep and their livestock. That is a true thing that happens. But right guys, now as they lie down together as a little family with extremely pointy eared cubs in the butterfly and golden coin filled valley that they have gone ahead and made into their own, let us see what black roses and Esther's children are going to be. All right, we'll start with Panda. <gasps> that turned out so much cooler than I thought. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is why you should always stay curious. And this is why you never know where our random genes are going to take you. 
<laughs> okay, guys. We actually ended up, and we'll randomize the tail really quickly. Because it can't be a dragon tail. It can't be a nine tails tail, for crying out loud. Okay, we're going to have it be curly tailed, because there are curly tailed llamas. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. So this is actually someone who eats grass because of the tiny jaw. Uh, and inherited dad's hooves. So I got my wish. I rolled a dice just then. We did inherit dad's hooves. So we are indeed... <laughs> we are indeed a leopard jaguar. I'll take it. Or, 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 or excuse me, a leopard jaguar. Sorry, I'm. there's so many names going on. We are a llama jaguar. There we go. With a curly tail, no less. In my head, this is not what we were going to look like. But here we are. All right, everybody else, Scorpio, you're up next. This is actually a jaguar jaguar with gigantic ears, all the better to hear you with, and dad's hooves once more. And not a bit of a tail. It's, I think those ears are going to unbalance them. The tail is actually so tiny. I, I worry that they're going to just like be forward facing all the time. But that big strong jaw, just like mom. Oh my gosh. What about you, Dazzle? Are you going to give us a little razzle dazzle? I missed these. All right, we also inherited dad's hooves. Um, 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 huh. What do you guys think of Dazzle? Please tell me. All right, Moonshade, you're up next. Moonshade, you actually are a meat eater and you actually do not have dad's hooves for once. Um, so we actually have kind of like I wouldn't I, obviously not an albino jaguar per se but we do have a white jaguar with extremely long fur uh and next up we have shrine shrine kind of amazing you eat meat and you also do not have dad's hooves I have no idea how you're going to do your hunting maybe maybe shrine specializes in looking for birds on cliff sides like billy goating up the side of a mountain with that thin frame wow i forgot the way that these jeans could do this wow my jaw's on the ground you guys katie last one of the group okay you did inherit dad's hooves so let's take stock really quickly i think we ended up with one two three yeah, one, two, three grass eaters, and then one, two, three meat eaters. And I think our biggest discoveries of the group are probably Panda and Dazzle. And I would say Shrine as well. This was kind of, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they ended up being epic and awesome in the more traditional variety of things but i would say that they ended up being that delightful amazing unexpectedness that i have come to love from our random genetics challenges and a great way to dip our feet back into those waters so guys if you could do leave comments so that you can end up becoming one of our future genetic experiments if you have an idea of what we should experiment on next do please leave your suggestions because oh man i forgot how hilarious these were and i think i want to come back and i want to see what our jaguars and llamas would do again in the future maybe we might actually end up having uh, another mix like what else would you mix a llama or a jaguar with the options are almost unlimited i'm so curious now but all right guys thank you so much if you could do please leave a like for our extremely unique family as they play with the butterflies in their meadow holy cow they're extremely unique looking and if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends Stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!